Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Sanaa from So Crafty Sanaa and I am back with another video. So today I am going to be settling out my weekly expenses for the week ending, my budget week ending October the 20th. So if you want to see how I settle out my weekly expenses, please stay tuned. Okay, so I already took the liberty of going ahead and putting down my weekly um, cash out strips and putting my categories on here because I was trying to save time. I did not highlight my categories on the book. Let me move this up so you can see. I did not highlight my categories here, but I will go back and do that. So, oh, my daughter in the kitchen making all this noise. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that in the video. Um, so what I want to do now is tally up my expenses. So I use my color pen um, to help me yeah, organize and categorize how I spent my money. So anything written in green, um, all green is an all cash spend. Anything written in blue is a credit card spend. I use the red pen to um, mark off when I paid back the credit card, which as you can see, I have not gone back and did that, but I paid all of this off so the next time you see me or you see my book <laughs> it'll be on there so um i know for dress i only have one item for the dress category which is for kids um so that was 69.98 and that was a credit card spend but before i do that i'm sorry i need to total up all my spending for the week so 69.98 plus 54.97 plus 43.01 plus 27.02 plus 10 plus 125.57 plus 83.61 plus 11.24 plus 4.40 plus 8.50 plus 4.90 plus 37 plus 18.46 plus 25.91 plus 70.02 plus 71.84 plus 6. Oops, 625 plus 5361 plus 140 plus 64 equals. So I have $791.69. Now I'm going to total up how much I spent in cash, which was not a lot. 10 plus 1124 plus 440 plus 850 plus 702 plus 64 equals. So I spent, and I'm going to write that in green, $168.16. And now I'm going to total how much I spent in car, on my, using my credit cards. And then the difference should be there. So that's another way to determine if you've calculated everything correctly. So we have $69.98 mm, plus $54.97 plus... 4301 plus 2702 plus 125.57 plus 8361 plus 490 plus 37 plus 1846 plus 2591 plus 7184 plus 625 plus 5361 plus 140 equals. So I have 623.53. 623.53 on card plus 168.16 equals 791. Yep, so I settled out. Okay, so in dress, I spent 69.98. Let's see, me money was 54.97 plus 490 plus 37 plus 625 equals. So me money, 50, so 60. Oh, yeah, me money, I spent $103.12. That's a problem because my budget for me money was only $75. So clearly, I'm over budget. Okay, food, $125.57 plus $83.61 plus $18.46 equals I'm over budget in food because my food budget was $220. Well, $200. So I spent $227.64. Now, had I just stuck to the cash, I wouldn't have been able to go and budget in these two categories. So that sucks. 
okay? Um, so before I do anything, let's see, gas was 7002 and I finally paid cash for gas. So that's 7002. Now because I wrote that in green, I don't need to worry about pulling that money back out of a sinking fund. Okay, household is 5361. Fun with it, I spend in fun, 2702. Car is 10 plus 140 equals. So I spent $11.40, but I only need a dollar forty for cars. So I'm just gonna put um, $11.40 and I'm gonna put a green asterisk because part of that was cash. Miscellaneous was cash. I spent four forty plus eight fifty. Nope, four forty plus eight fifty. I spent twelve ninety in miscellaneous, and that was all cash. Twelve ninety. All right, in luxury, I spent seventy one eighty four. Home maintenance was sixty four dollars, and that was cash, so I don't have to pay that back. Dining out. So let's see. In dining out, I spent $4301 plus $2591 equals $6892. Now I went over my budget in dining out. I think my budget was $45 in dining out. I'm not particularly sure. But okay, so now I need to go back and pay this money. So you guys, let's see how we're gonna do this. All right, first I'm just gonna go to my wallet. Now I'm now I'm going to be using the red pen so that we can get this money back. Okay, so I am still using my mini zippy in caramel. So let's see, me money $103.12. I know I don't have that, but I did spend, oh, no, no, no. How much do, so 103.12, 103.12 minus... 11.24 equals, I still went over in me money. I still went over because I don't have it. I'm going to put the change off to the side. So in me money, I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63. So I only have $63 in me money. So I'm going to put a minus in 63. So I know that I took $63 out of me money. I'm going to sit that money up here. You can't see that. Dining out, um, I spent $68.92 and I only have $20, $40, $45 in dining out. So I am hmm, $23, $24. So minus $45 for dining out. Car maintenance is used gas. I paid cash for, so let's see. I don't need to pull anything out for gas. Food. Food is... Y'all, I had no idea that the video cut out after I took money out of food or dining out or whatever, dining out. I did the whole video filming. Oh my gosh. But nonetheless, I'm just going to conclude the video because I was able to settle out all of my money. And as you can see, I'm about to count it out. So I still, because I filmed it, I am going to go ahead and put this in. And y'all know I got into running my mouth and... Uh, so hopefully I have $624. So what I was saying before the video cut out is, as I always say, if you watch my videos, you've heard me say multiple times, you don't need any of this to budget your money. This video is not about, oh, you need to buy products, you need to buy from me. I tell everyone, you don't need any of this. You need a paper and a pencil and a calculator to make it easier. You don't need to buy anything to manage your money. However, you have the right if you want to do so. People kill me. They get so upset because they can't do something or they can't afford something or they can't do. And then they just get mad at the world. That is your choice. If you can't do it, use a pencil and paper. These videos are not here because you have to buy them. This is how I manage my money and I'm letting you all see it. So by all means, you don't have to watch it. Um, but it's no reason to get offended, upset, or anything. It's not a video that is to discriminate or to not be diverse or not to be inclusive. Listen, you can follow along with everything that I do and do everything that I do on a blank piece of paper. Just because I'm doing it here 
does not mean you can't do exactly what I'm doing on a blank piece of paper. So by all means, still follow along. If you find something helpful, you can do it on a blank piece of paper, period. Um, people don't understand that everyone's entitled to their opinion, but don't get mad when my opinion opposes yours. There we have it. So let's count this money. 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 434, 50, 470, 490, 510, 520, 535, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 85, 590, 595, 600, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 611 dollars. Y'all, where did I go wrong? $611. So I'm supposed to have $623, $624 minus $611. I'm $13 short. So why am I $13 short? I need $29 from here. $29 plus $28 plus, And I'm short here, which is $45. You figure that is $24 plus $24. So that's $81, so $82. So I could see I am short $2 technically. Um, $10 was cash. I only needed a dollar forty here. I didn't get the dollar forty, but that's 70 that's settled out. That's 27 that's settled out. This is 53 that's settled out. 72 is settled out. Um I don't know why I'm short, but I have $611. So let me count this again. 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 535, 45, 55, 65, 70, 580, 585, 590, 595, 600, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There it is. I have $611. I'm just going to write it down with my green pen that I have $611. And I don't know why I'm short. I feel like I'm missing something here, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let me calculate everything in red. 70 plus 63 plus 200 plus 25 plus 29 plus 27 plus 72 plus 45 equals 531 and then I took $80 out of buffer plus 80 yes yeah, 611 so I don't know where I'm short but you guys I'm not gonna worry about it literally I'm gonna take this $611 and I'm just gonna just be happy all right so the next thing I would do and the next thing you can do on your blank piece of paper, because I'll be sure to include that and in everything. Let me put this in my back to bank envelope. And yes, this wallet holds a lot, you guys. So don't be scared. She is a beauty and she is rough and tough like Afro Puffs, okay? All right. So the next thing I would do is, because I haven't done it over here, but I will. But because if you're following along on a blank piece of paper, then you want to make sure that you notate that you pay back this expense so i paid 70 here i paid 55 here 43 here 27 here 126 here 84 here and i'm rounding it up 5 37 19 26 72 6 54 and then one so I notated that I paid back all of my credit card spending. Yes, I'm going to go over here and do the same. 40, because I paid all this back. 9, I'm going to do 12, and that's 27, and that's 87, okay? And then here we have 47. And this lets me know that I paid everything back that I spent my credit card on. So that credit card was paid back. I had card spending 175 here. I had card spending 140 here, and I paid all of that back. So, and if you add up everything in red, it should come close to those numbers. So, this is another way for you to keep track of what you spend on your credit card and making sure that you pay this money back. Okay. So, yeah, and, and so that settles it out. So now the next thing I'll do is go get the credit card that I spent. And calculate how much of the 611 has to go back onto the card. I'm not going to do that on camera with you all. But I just wanted to show you that that is what I would do. 
Okay, so now I am free to start my next week's spending. Okay, so thank you all so much for tuning in. Please stay tuned for my next video, which will be my cash shopping. All right, you all have a great evening. Bye.